Hello, my name is Ryan Shaw, and I'm from the Society for Music Teacher Education Policy, ASPA, and this is an e-kit on teacher certification. Teacher certification is one of the major functions of a state department of education. A state exercises oversight in this area in two main ways. First, it decides which colleges or universities and alternative certification providers it will approve to be teacher preparation institutions. As part of this oversight, it drafts policy concerning what courses are required and how many fieldwork or student teaching hours are necessary. Second, the state determines how a prospective teacher or current teacher can earn and renew licenses. The oversight here is significant. The state determines subject area examinations, what grades or grade bands an educator may teach, what additional endorsements may be required, how long a certificate is valid, and any requirements for upgrading a certificate. For the first time, the federal government inserted itself into teacher certification policy during the years No Child Left Behind was law, with federal government uh, actors requiring that all teachers be highly qualified in their content area by 2006. With the passage of the Every Student Succeeds Act in 2015, this provision and the federal oversight went away. So how do states certify music teachers? It depends. In 2016, the National Association for Music Education gathered data that showed the variety in policy approaches. Most states have a K-12 or pre-K-12 certification, but some certify only elementary or only secondary grade spans. 35 states certify music teachers to teach any musical subject, while the rest certify by specialty. There are important teacher certification policy issues that can have consequences for music teachers. Here are just a few. First, a state may allow someone with an all subject certification, usually an elementary classroom teacher, to teach the arts or physical education. This can be problematic for certified music teachers who can more easily be replaced in a budget crisis. Reciprocity can also be a concern. Although 46 states and DC share some kind of reciprocity, or the ability to transfer certification from one state to another, it can still be onerous and expensive to get licensed in a new state. Third, states are beginning to use third-party portfolio teaching assessments in teacher certification. The most popular of these, the EdTPA, which stands for Teacher Performance Assessment, is now used in more than 40 states, with 18 states requiring EdTPA passage for initial certification. This move has been controversial for a number of reasons, with many perceiving it as a move to outsource certification decisions. And finally, alternative certification routes have become increasingly common. Under alternative certification, teachers may be able to begin working in classrooms with little or no background or experience, completing coursework or clinical experiences as they go. For more information, see these links.